right, let's get started. Nordstrom Academy brings to you converting digital sales. Okay, so this is what uh, the agenda of the session is. I'm going to do a quick introduction round. Then we will talk about essentials of digital sales, Google, social media, WhatsApp. What is the give value formula? Then we'll obviously take up our question and answer and then we'll get into our courses, the courses that we have to offer. All right. Uh, just a little bit about who we are and what we do. We are Nostrum Academy. Uh, I myself, I'm Neil Dodia and Hitesh Motwani. We both are, one of, are the co-founders. There are a total of three co-founders. Uh, the third one is Roshni. And uh, then we also have collaborated with Networking Now over here to do this session with you guys. Uh, how many over here are from Networking Now? If you are from Networking Now, just type NN. Perfect. So power of collaboration, <laughs> right? Okay. All right. Lovely guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much guys. All right. So this is who we are and uh, I'm going to jump to a little bit about me. Uh, I started uh, my career straight away into digital marketing somewhere around 10 years ago. And uh, my first job was into digital marketing. Actually, I used to do ORM for ICICI Bank in one of the top agencies in India. Uh, I, uh, some of my personal accomplishment would be uh, handling Ratan Tata's social media accounts. So, you know, he's very active on Instagram and Twitter nowadays. But, um, uh, you know, handling his social media is something that I started with. Uh, I was involved in launching the world's fastest car. That's a Batista by Automobili Pininfarina. Uh, it's the world's fastest electric car. It's not just the fastest car, but it's the fastest electric car as well. Um, and I also handled brands like Taj, Tata, Audi, Skoda, Godrej, Pizza Hut, many, many, many more. All right. So this is a little bit about introduction about me. Uh, if you would like to connect with me, uh, definitely, uh, you know, send me a request on LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want, and I'll be happy to connect with all of you guys. All right. Um, so before I go ahead, just I want to give uh, you some details about the workshop that we're going to do. And uh, I'll just share that with you right now. So this is what our three days are planned like. Uh, today, we're going to talk about converting digital sales. Uh, and tomorrow we're going to go into sales driven content creation. So how do you create content that is very, very sales driven? That's exactly what we're going to look into tomorrow. And day after is a networking and a blogging session. Uh, the networking session will be actually taken by Sean herself, the founder of networking now and blogging will be taken by us. So we have some incredible stuff for next three days. Uh, make sure that you join in every single day, every single day. This is the time, uh, 7 PM to 8 30 PM. Uh, it's really, really value guys. It's really, it's really good value. And we get into that directly now. All right. So before we go ahead, how many over here, uh, have their own businesses or are entrepreneurs or, uh, you know, they work in a sales company. Whatever you do, whatever your profession is, just let me know. For example, if you're a doctor, just write, I'm a doctor. If you're a nutritionist, just write, I'm a nutritionist. Uh, if you're an artist, just write, you're an artist. So I get a background about you guys and then accordingly, I can give you examples, right? So just tell me who you are, what you do, interior designer, software, property consultant, startup fintech, fashion accessories, academic director, all right, interior designer, Image consultant, soft skill, jeweler, real estate, real estate, dentist, photographer. Perfect. Wow, that's a lot. Perfect, guys. Thank you so much for all the details. Um, hey, Amrita, if you're a student, that's a that's perfect that you joined this because you learn so much out of this, you know, uh, when I was a student, I just wasted my time fooling around, but if you're attending this great, great for you. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I think, uh, hard, hard enough. All right. 
Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this session extremely engaging. Okay, so I want you to be there on your chat as well. Because I'm going to keep it extremely engaging just to understand, just to take your feedback and, you know, customize the whole session accordingly. All right. Now, how many of y'all have heard of Google My Business? Okay. And how many of y'all are using Google My Business? Now, most of y'all would be using it, but if you're not, then write no. How many of y'all are not using it? No, 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 no. A lot of no. A lot of no. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. That's a lot of no. If you are into business and if you are not doing Google my business, um, then let me tell you something that you must have already lost a lot of business. I'm being honest with you. You must have a lot of loss of business just because you're not using it. Okay. Now, how many of y'all have a Google business account, but y'all are not using it? Not active. If you're not active, just write not active. Not active, not active. That's a lot. Wow. Okay. Here's a question. Is Google my business free or paid? If it's free, write free. If it's paid, write paid. Yeah. Let me answer that question to you. Google my business account is absolutely free of cost. It's absolutely free of cost. Now, let me just tell you what is Google my business account. Okay. So when I open my uh, smartphone, let me just search something. Okay. For example, restaurants near me. Now I search that. Okay. I search that and the results that I'm seeing, these results are nothing but Google my business account. These results are nothing but Google my business account. Now, for example, let me check this restaurant. So there's this restaurant called pride. Okay. There's this restaurant called pride and you know, I can call them up and I can, I can probably see directions. I can save it. I can check their website. I can read their reviews, photos, etc. This is Google my business account. Okay. Anyone who has a business can create it. Now you can also create a Google my business account. Okay. But you also need to verify your business account. Okay. You also need to verify your business account. Now, uh, I am not able to see my screen. I see two messages which said, okay, one second. Let me share it again. Are you able to see my screen now? If yes, just write yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys. That's enough. All right. So this is your Google My Business account. Now, how do you create a Google My Business account? It's very, very simple. Okay. Just search Google My Business. Okay. Or list my business. Okay. Or just install Google My Business account app. Now, this app is available on your Android as well as iOS. Go ahead, install it. Put in your name, put in your address, put in all the details, that do, basic details that it require, and then you will have Google My Business account. Okay. Now, why is Google My Business account required? Okay. Google My Business account is required because it's the best SEO that you can do. And it's absolutely free of cost. What is SEO? SEO is search engine optimization. Whenever someone searches something, okay, someone, uh, that brand, you, your, the brand should come up over there. For example, right now, if I'm searching, uh, buy a car online or, or, or I'm just searching buy a car, you know, will Maruti come first or Hyundai come first? Whoever comes first have a higher chances of, of uh, someone clicking on it, you know, and that's why it's very, very important that you come up on top of Google. Okay. And that's exactly what you call this Google. Uh, go, uh, and that's exactly what you call Google, my business. Right now. So what you search something over here. Now, what Google does is if you can see my screen right now, the top ratings that are showing right now over here, these all are free. All of them are free. Okay. So if you're not using them in the right manner, there is something wrong. You should be using it. Okay. Uh, okay. A lot of y'all are still complaining about not being able to see the screen. 
I, I guys, I'm still on the first slide. I am on this slide itself. I am on the slide of Google My Business. That's the slide I am on. Are you able to see? Yeah. All right, guys, I, I think there's a confusion. I'm still on this slide. I was showing you something on the camera. I think that's where the confusion is happening. All right, uh, let me try to show it to you on my desktop what I meant by that. All right, so here I go. I search uh, ice cream near me, okay? I search ice cream near me and what, what do I get over here? I get naturals ice cream. I get temptations, I get Baskin Robbins, right? That's because I stay in near, near Jew area. That's why I'm getting all of these results. Now, because I'm getting all of these results, uh, these are technically free. So when I click on them, uh, you know what happens, right? I mean, uh, generally people click on through your, through your mobile. I can see their reviews, I can see ratings, I can see photos, I can see all of that stuff over here, right? I can see all of this stuff over here. And you know, then I can order, I can call them up, I can do all kind of stuff. You know, there are photos, there are reviews, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You must have gone through all of this. Now, why is it so important? It's important because it gets listed right on top, right on top. Now, um, tell me one thing, if I had to tell you, let me, let me play with an example, okay? What if I tell you that there is this one small business, okay? Technically not small, capital wise they're huge, okay? But store size wise they're small, one small business. They is, is currently doing a revenue worth rupees crores. And I repeat the word crores, not lakhs, crores, just because of my Google, my Google business account. What I'm gonna do today guys, what I'm going to do today, each and every uh, uh, feature or tricks or digital marketing sales techniques that I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna give you an example. And I'm going to give you a real life example so that you understand that this thing really helps businesses. All right. Okay. So uh, how many over here? Let me just go through some comments. I'm just going through some comments. All right. How many over here uh, are familiar to uh, Bandra area? I think most of y'all would be. Okay. So how many of y'all have heard of this place called the Diamond Factory? It's in Bandra. How many of y'all have heard of this place? Anyone over here have heard of this place? No, right? Okay. Okay. So there, uh, uh, it's one outlet. Now, uh, I'm sure you must be aware of all those outlets on the road, uh, on the main, on the linking road, on the Bandra side, the Popley and Sons and all the likes of all the other brands. Are you aware of it? Popley and Sons and all the other brands. Yes. Okay. On that same road. Okay. On that same road, there was so, so basically what happened is I went over there to buy something. Okay. And while I was trying to buy something, uh, we were trying to, uh, we, were, we were planning to buy a diamond. Okay. And so I was, I went to Popley, I went to this, I went to there. And then so all of a sudden I come, come across this small shop. So Popley and Sons must be, uh, let's, let's consider it must be 6,000 square feet store. Okay. It has two, three floors or maybe more than that. Okay. This store must be less than 250 square feet. So we, we see, I see this store and then I, I, and then I read it TDF, the diamond factory. Okay, and I was like diamond. So if their name says it diamond, then then they might they might be having some great diamonds, you know. So let's go there. Okay, so I went there and um, we went to the store. And that store, the owner of the store was really really nice guy. Okay, uh, you know I I don't understand diamonds at all, and he made me understand what are these diamonds, you know, what are cuts, what are uh, I don't know, carrot, I don't know what else is there yeah, in diamonds, but there are a lot of things, okay? And I got purely impressed, uh, I got purely impressed uh, by by the nature of way he was explaining me things. You know, he explained to me, he made he made things so simple for me that see boss, the best quality diamonds are ABC grade or whatever those grades are, whatever, the, what are cuts, what do cuts mean, what are this, what does that mean? You know, all of that stuff, which I did not know. Okay, and I was like, great, so, I, I ended up buying 
the diamond from there you know and uh, then he took he, uh, obviously it was a custom made diamond so uh, you know he made it to me in 15 days and then he called me he's like listen your diamond is ready come and collect it i went there and i collected from there okay when i collected from there he told me please write a review of of our store and i was like boss you you're selling diamonds why do you care about reviews you know he told me a review mean a lot to us okay i was like okay uh, so i said okay to him and i casually walked off from there and i did not bother i mean it's not like i didn't want to write a review but i just forgot you know uh, then next day he whatsapp me saying that hey hi can you please write a review for us and he gave me the link to write the review uh and i was like okay fine you know i wrote a nice review i sent a screenshot to him and uh, then he even asked my partner that you know can you also write a review and you know uh, she also write, uh, she wrote, she also wrote the review and then sent a screenshot the owner wanted us desperately to write the review you know and we both of us wrote the review and then he was happy so i casually called him and you know uh, for something else i we went back over there and i was like listen i remember you making me write the review so hard i mean does review really help you now here's the thing okay he told me that he sells diamond worth rupees lakhs per month crores per month sometimes just because of google reviews and i was like how does that work he's like there are people who have come to us okay just by reading reviews so they read the reviews and in the reviews a lot of people have written things like they know diamonds really well the owners will explain you diamonds really well and that's why you should come and read the review uh, you and that's why people go and buy the reviews from there and i when when i actually went there the experience was something like that the owners really explained me really well you know um the owner was actually very helpful so all of those things happened all of those things happened and i was like yeah this guy is so right imagine people are reading reviews and going to him to buy diamonds can you believe this guys so i mean reviews is is resulting him to lakhs and lakhs of rupees of uh, what do you say uh, sales just because you know a lot of people think that he's genuine and as shocking as this may sound to you okay but it's not wrong today if you're buying from flipkart and amazon you you read the reviews you know today when i when i even uh, bother watching a movie on a netflix or on an amazon prime i first go and google the movie or google the web series you know for example yesterday i started watching uh, yesterday i started watching um, silicon valley okay the first thing i did is i searched silicon valley and the results that uh, i got was uh, the imdb uh, rated it, i think 8 out of 10 and i was like okay 8 out of 10 is great so let's go and read it you know uh, i mean sorry let's go and watch it exactly the same way people have started doing this and if you don't trust me call up this guy or go to a store after the lockdown and and check with them you know he will tell you that yes it's true people are actually buying stuff uh, because of reviews so the here's an example i i hope now i'm going to get into how do you go about with what your google my business and all of that stuff uh, but um, i hope you're clear about what i mean to say am i clear guys am i clear perfect just one second guys i'm getting all right guys let's move on so what i've done is i've listed five things that you should be doing uh to to make a successful my business account all right um three of them i've listed over here the two of them i'm going to orally tell you guys the first one is give it a findable name okay what is what do i mean by findable name means make it seo friendly all right 
make it as SEO friendly as possible. Let me try and give you with an example. For example, let's assume that you own a medical store. Let's assume, okay? Do not so uh, do not give your my business name as wellness medical store. Okay, do not give it a name of wellness medical store. All right. Instead, name it wellness pharmacy medical store 24 by 7 open and home delivery. Okay. Now, why am I giving it a such a big name? Okay, let's assume why am I giving it a such a big name? All right. First of all, I am giving it such a big name. I'm just playing around with the keywords. Okay. So what have I done over here? Once again, I'm just replying to a comment. Hi, Pinky. Uh, this is not a promotion. This is a name. If you can read it well, this I'm not promoting anything over here. It's just a name that is given. So please read uh, and then comment. All right. Okay. So now why did i let's see what have i changed okay so it's wellness wellness pharmacy medical i have kept the word medical also but i've, I've searched the i've added the word pharmacy why did i do that okay because a lot of people will search pharmacy near me when you are searching pharmacy near me there's a possibility that wellness might not come over there because well because medical and pharmacy are two different words you understood what i'm saying they're two different words that's why I added the word wellness, pharmacy, medical store. Okay. Then I added the word 24 seven, 24 seven basically means that it's open 24 seven, right? Um, and that means it's, it's, uh, it's open 24 hours. I mean, that's the whole idea for saying that. Okay. And, uh, and then I've written home delivery. Okay. And then I've written home delivery. The reason why I've written home delivery is so that let to let people know that you deliver at home. Now, again, I'm not saying do exactly this. If you do not deliver at home, don't write home delivery. You're getting what I'm trying to say. And uh, if you're not 24 seven open, don't write 24 seven open. Okay. But what you can do uh, what you can't do is you can't write best wellness pharmacy medical. So that's wrong. That's promotion. Okay. But you are just giving uh, oh, but this, what I've done over here is not promotion you are just saying uh you are just saying that uh, this is what i am all right and in your name you are adding keywords which people might search are we clear about this guys am i clear about this perfect all right. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, I'm going to answer some of the questions that I just uh, uh, guys, because there are so many questions, I'm not going to be able to answer all of them, but I'll answer a few of them for you guys. The first question that I've, that I've got is what if my business name is um, already registered? You can edit your business name so you can go ahead and edit it. Please do not add promotional words. Please do not add best or uh, I don't know something of those lines, you know, keep it simple. Okay. Keep it simple. Now, uh, second thing that I'm going to come to is yes, you can change your name. All right. You can edit your name. Uh, some people have also asked, how do I go about it? Well, I can explain you. How do you open your, my, my, my business account, but it's going to be a time consuming activity. Hence I'm not going to do that, but it's very, very simple. Okay. Just go and Google search about it and you'll get it. It's very, very simple. Hence I've not added. Had it been a little complicated also, I would have added over here. Once you create a, my business account. Okay then it will ask you to verify your business account. Okay. And that verification happens when you add your address over there, they will send you a six digit code via postcard, like a proper postman will come and he will give you that postcard. It will have a six digit code. Then you have to again, go back to a link, which is already given in that postcard and put that link. Once you do it, it's authenticated. It's just like your OTP, but instead of receiving it on your phone, you will receive it via post, put it and it's done. Okay. Now, uh, so you can do all of that kind of stuff. Okay. For example, you can also mention addresses. Okay. You can also mention addresses. So for example, what I can do is, uh, uh, let's say, yes, Sean, 566 participants. In fact, we are touching 600 participants. Um, uh, so for example, let's say I've got one message over here saying that you are, um, you are, what do I say? Uh, you are a fashion store, you know, so you can mention fashion store and then you can mention what you're good at. For example, wedding lingas and gowns. Okay. 
you can mention that that's not promotion that's ex- because someone will search wedding lengas near me so you know you should be able to come over there am i clear guys again there is a difference between promotion and there's a difference between what i'm trying to say got what i'm saying guys all cool yes the postcard thing is is mandatory everywhere any nation that you are in they might have different kind of things but yeah uh, but more or less this pretty much same in india it's like this all right uh, my real estate name is tonic so can i rename it to tonic real estate yes not booster you can just rename it do it to uh, tonic real estate okay so you can mention all of those things right uh is my google business and google ads locked uh, the same no they are different they are very very different during the covid they will not send you the postcards <laughs> verified means getting the blue blue tick no verified does not mean getting a blue tick in your my business account a verified me uh, is own i mean there's no tick that comes over there but google understands that you are the owner now okay let me let me actually show you what it looks like give me a second i will show you what does the dashboard look like so i'm just going to go to i'm just going to search my business over here yeah so it will ask you to sign in i'm going to quickly sh- sign in over here yeah so for example these are all the places that i'm an owner of okay these are all the places that i'm an owner of let me quickly show you nostrum academy yeah this is what my business page looks like okay this is my what my business page looks like pay attention to your left okay over your left you will see information okay now see what have i named myself okay i could have easily named myself named myself nostrum academy okay but i did not do that i named i i named myself as nostrum academy digital marketing courses okay so that now you know what i do academy can teach anything academy can teach you science history geography but i'm seeing over here what i mean so for example if you are in andheri or jew area or even in bandra and you search uh, digital marketing courses i will come over here okay are we all clear about this guys all right now uh, what i've also done is i have done formally socialopedia because we changed our name earlier we were known as socialopedia now we have changed our name to nostrum academy and uh, hence hence we've added that i've added a timing so what time are we operational uh, date blah 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 now let me get into the presentation all right so the first one is give it a findable name are we all clear about findable name so that i can move on to point number 2 yes purvi mirchi and mine prashant is sir i yeah i mean i know him personally actually all right perfect second thing that you have to do is you have to add photos and videos um now why are photos important because simple jo dikhta hai wo bikhta hai you know when you book a hotel uh, from make my trip or uh, from go ibb or whichever website you like okay you go there you check the photos or oh, it looks very interesting and then you go and book it you know so so first thing you read the review second thing you go and uh, see the photos and then you decide whether you want to book it or not okay so i keep telling this to people that if you are into retail business if you are into retail business if you have a store if you have a fashion boutique you have a bakery you are a restaurant anything which is retail anything okay even if you have a car garage okay it's very important that you put up photos okay why it's important to put up photos because people see photos and then they decide whether they want to go to the store or not whether they want to buy it or not okay so please ensure that you always have your photos in place now what i've done is i've took i've, t- I've taken two photos this is photo number 1 and this photo number 2 if you see photos two the second one over here they are actually from two different stores what has happened over here is if you see the starting two three photos okay they are very nice for example this photo this photo this photo because they the first photos will be the photos that will appear which are by the owners themselves if the, the owners for example for nostrum academy i am the owner okay so when i will put up the photo okay it will appear first by default because i have put it up 
ओके The other photos are by users. So if you come to my academy, you click a photo and you can also post it over there. Okay, that photo will also appear. Okay, so you have to upload your best photos over here so that it's more visible. Again, why will you put best photos? Because whatever people see is what with what they buy, right? So always remember to put up your best of your photos. Understand what I'm saying? Are we clear about this, guys? all right perfect thank you so much now remember one thing that i would strongly recommend you you that if you are into business of retail you know you if you are dentist you are uh, anything a restaurant anything invest in clicking great photos because it's very very important all right now uh, point number 3 is and this is the golden rule guys this is literally the golden rule if you are serious about your business okay if you are serious which i am sure you are because 565 people have turned up uh, for this uh, workshop on on a day where they could have relaxed and watched television because you are serious about your business and if you are married to your business encourage reviews just like the tdf guided okay just like the tdf guided tell them that boss you have to write a review okay you have to write a review don't leave a person until that guy does not write a review okay now how do you get to write reviews okay how do you encourage people to get to write reviews okay first thing that you have to do is so yeah once again marry your business do anything that it takes to get reviews the more reviews is equal to more footfalls okay now how do you get to reviews ask everyone to write a review just casually ask everyone that you know to write a review for yourself okay it's very very simple try to plant keywords or preferred reviews okay now what do i mean by preferred reviews sorry for my uh, spelling over there for, for with preferred but what do i mean by preferred reviews okay what you have to do is what you can actually do is whenever you're free okay keep uh, open your phone go to your notepad and keep typing reviews keep typing reviews okay uh have like a stock of 100 reviews okay any time you meet someone you can just copy paste one review okay give it to that person on whatsapp and like can you please post it for me you know uh, and that person you're just making the other person's job easy instead of me telling you hey please go on that page write a review for me that's too much of ask just you give it to that person you know and and things will be done remember if that person will write reviews uh um if that person is writing reviews for you uh i mean if that person is even agreeing the right to write the review is because of this yes currently google reviews are closed because of the covid so you cannot write a review for someone uh but the moment is uh, it opens up you'll be able to ask people to write reviews are we clear till you guys and third is reply to reviews even if they are bad ones it's always very very important to reply to all your reviews okay i'll give you a small example of why i am saying this okay so we were working for i mean one of our client was taj hotels okay uh, and the kolaba one the the taj mahal palace okay uh, what happened over there is that this is one gentleman okay who uh, who took a photo uh, from his room of gateway of india okay and he wrote on his uh, tweet it was not a review but i'm just giving an example okay he he wrote on his tweet saying that uh, it's a lovely day but can't do much getting bored this is what he wrote okay he wrote that because on the photo from the photo you can clearly see that it's raining really heavy it's raining really heavy outside and because of that this person wrote that it's a lovely day and uh, but he can't do anything because it's just raining too heavily okay so we we got that tweet and then we went to the uh, we took it to the client saying that hey this guy is complaining this it's not really even a complaint okay but it's taj you know so any any guest who is getting bored at taj i mean taj will take it as somewhere they are going wrong you know so uh, so they wrote this and um, uh, we went back uh, and and the and the client told us that just try and understand his profile okay and his under, uh, try and understand his profile basically means that uh, try to understand what are his likes dislikes where is he from uh, you give me your name and if i do a simple google search uh, if i do a simple google search i will get your profile you know i will get your linkedin i'll get your facebook i'll get your instagram so we did all of that and we realized that these are his favorite books and these are his favorite movies you know uh, so what we did is we took those 
okay uh, and we gave it to the client saying that hey these are his favorite books and these are his favorite movies okay now what happened is uh, what happened after that is that person uh, someone from the taj went to his hotel uh, so, sorry went to his room knocked the door and said sir uh, we heard that on twitter that you were getting bored uh, we have bought you some of your favorite books and some of your favorite movies maybe to keep you entertained okay and you will not believe all of this happened in just 60 minutes okay it just happened in 60 minutes and he tweeted back okay uh, this time with the carton of books and movies saying that dear taj you have found a permanent customer right uh, so so this is exactly what happens you know uh, that a lot i mean you just win a customer so if someone is writing something negative and that guy is being genuine see how can you make things better because if that person has given a negative review you cannot delete it okay but you can he can edit it okay that person can edit it so that one star review can become a five star review if you do things in the right manner are we clear about this guys hello perfect uh one question was how frequently should we uh, reply to the reviews uh is as and when the review comes in i mean the moment there is a review coming in you can go and reply to it as simple as that yeah um yes it's purely location based so if your business is in mumbai okay and someone is searching let's let's say for example if you have a salon in mumbai okay and someone is searching from delhi they'll not be able to see your results but uh, the idea is to make use of that location itself right uh you have to so when will i get a notification when someone post a review yes you get a notification if you have installed the app you will get a notification instead you will also get an email uh what if you have an online business so bhushan if you have an online business you should still create my business account uh purely uh, saying that this is our office you know for example our office we have a physical classroom and office in mumbai but uh, today i'm doing an online business so if you go and write a review for me it's going to help me you know so it's like that what about bloggers bloggers uh, if you provide services like content writing uh, then whatever your address is you can do you can you, you should put up over there how do you gather audience for for products uh i missed that chart uh like what uh, medium i can choose okay i'll come to that great explanation thank you so much nadeem all right uh yeah i mean what my idea is my idea is not just to explain you but also to motivate you to your best you know so like by the time this this gets over you should feel like shit man i should be doing this you know that's the whole idea to really motivate the hell out of you guys you know perfect all right uh now i said like i have listed three things uh, i have to also tell you two more things which are important in your google reviews let me do that by sharing the screen with you guys so this is my business account and just how you post on your instagram on your facebook on all your other platform you can also post over here okay you can also post over here so it is very important that you add your updates over here okay so for example let's say you are you're starting a new course or you're doing anything just go and post it over here okay put your photo put your post over there uh you can put order online blah 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 and just go ahead and publish it it's uh, treated like your one more social media platform so if you are uh, available on facebook instagram twitter then treat it just like another social media platform whatever you go and post over there just go and post over here because according to google the more you post google says that okay that's how more active you are okay and last but obviously very very important is always keep your information up to date for example uh 
if you have given a mobile number or a landline number of someone some of your employee and he has left the company assume just assume okay uh it's wrong at your side uh, because the number will still someone will still call them up you know someone will still end up calling them up right so always ensure that you have all your information is always and always up to date are we all clear about this right so tell me which are the five things that i just told you what was number one tell me what was number one a uh, findable name perfect what is number 2 what is number 2 photos what is number 3 encourage reviews the golden rule is encourage review number 4 what is number 4 guys what is number 4 updates right keep your post keep going do updates okay and last one what is the number 5 keep your information up to date perfect great students over here all right thank you so much now let's move on okay let's move on like i promised you all the examples that i'm going to give you today are of real businesses who have impacted the businesses which have impacted and that brings me to the second thing which is social media done in a right manner you know a lot of you all must be frustrated that we go on facebook i keep going on facebook i, I put up a post nothing happens i don't get likes i don't get this i don't get that and i understand we have gone through the same pain okay and here's how you change that okay first of all let me start with an example how many of you all i see a lot of guys from the interior world how many of you all have are following this handle called amsi furniture how many of you all have heard of this in the interior guys have you heard of this yes if 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 your answer is yes just type yes okay no problem they have 39000 followers on instagram 39000 followers on instagram now uh i want all of you all to just follow don't follow them but just check their post my god i'm promoting them i don't know them in any way okay but what you should be seeing in fact i will i will show it to you right now on my screen is one second yeah if you can see this right now over here on my screen they put a post they put a post of all their products okay of all their products and they just give the price over here that's all they do okay now the thing is that if you see their post okay if you see their post all their post has 30 hashtags 30 hashtags okay and all the hashtags are relatable for example wall art wall decor bar chair blah 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 blah, blah all of those things so these are preferred hashtags now all they have to do is what they actually rigorously do rigorously okay and religiously is they keep posting that's all they do they keep posting uh they post they post product photos they post uh, pro, uh, customer photos who have shared with them okay and they just keep posting day in day out and they have 40000 close to 40000 follow, followers today that's huge okay do they get sales out of these 40000 hell yes they get a lot of sales from these 40000 followers so much sales that they do not even they do not have the time to even reply to your dms because they have so much sales happening just to do just from instagram imagine this okay imagine this that someone with his cell phone is just putting up product photos day in day out okay and that person is generating more sales than a what a 4000 square foot uh, retail store in bandras imagine can you believe it because there are 40000 people looking into it i am able to see the slide guys i see a lot of people are saying that we are not we are not able to see the slide yeah okay so perfect 
so what i'm trying to say over here is that this is the whole idea okay uh, now the thing is how did i come across this channel i don't know them okay how i came across this channel is um, when i'm looking for interiors okay i'm i'm i was getting my flat done i'm still getting my flat done and uh, there are two places where you go and check out the inspiration the first one is pinterest and second one is instagram okay so when i am scrolling through a lot of furniture stores on your instagram there is a button called explore this is explore over here okay i hope you can see it the second tab is explore i start seeing their content in explore just because i've seen a lot of fashion based content uh, sorry lot of furniture based home decor based content now this is possible uh, this is possible uh, just because purely because they put a lot of hashtags okay uh because they put a lot of hashtags okay uh for those who are not able to see my phone screen is because you you using your mobile so you have to scroll no problem doesn't matter basically it's just an explore tab which you can yourself check it out okay um now i'll give you one more example okay what if i tell you what if i tell you there is a store in lokanwala which does business okay which does business purely because of instagram now let me tell you how it works okay i was i was going through lokanwala and you know there is this one store unfortunately i was looking i was desperately looking for that example but unfortunately i am not able to recollect their store name so the moment i am able to recollect in hopefully by tomorrow i will send it across to you guys okay now this store this store in lokanwala it's a fashion store and listen to the story guys listen to the story uh uh this fashion store okay uh, it's right on that lokanwala patch okay it's right on that lokanwala patch and i went inside that store and that store uh, manager told me that uh, sir you know our, we have a bigger collection on the opposite side there is right opposite that store okay just cross the road there is a building inside the building there's a flat and inside that flat we have a bigger store just go and check it out i was like this is weird you know why are you asking me to to go to a store which is in one of the flats and uh, power look yes yes thank you so much pooja power look is the name perfect so many of you guys yeah so wait let me let me open their instagram uh i hope i get it I hope uh, can you guys see my screen right now it's loading though yeah so this is the brand okay 2 lakh 22000 followers on instagram how many 2 lakh 22000 followers on instagram all right now just let me tell you what happened okay how did they reach this number how did they reach this number and here's the thing okay uh i went inside the store and the guy told me sir right opposite we have a, a bigger store why don't you go over there so i went to that bigger store and it it was actually quite bigger i be, i believe it was a 2 bhk and there are a lot of clothes over there i tried some of them and i noticed one thing that each and every staff member and they have a huge staff okay they have a huge staff because the store is always full each and every member of the store uh was wearing a t-shirt a black color t-shirt each and every member a black color t-shirt which says follow us on instagram at the rig power look official their instagram handle okay i one first time i went over there i just saw it and i ignored it second time i went there and second time i directly went to the flat wala store i did not even bother going to that the other store second time i went over there and i saw that the same t-shirt again so i went on my instagram i went to their instagram and this is what i noticed 2 lakh 22000 people are wearing uh, sorry are, fo are following them they are doing crazy sales and imagine this each and every store in lokanwala is shut today but they are doing online sales i'm not saying they are doing best of the sales during the corona virus but at least they are present in people's mind you know uh, now 
I asked that guy that why have why do you have a store in inside like this flat and stuff? You know, why don't you have a store outside? Uh, you know, you have such a big space. I mean, why don't you have just a bigger store outside? He's like the rent that I'm paying for that small store outside. I'm just paying that rent for publicity purpose, you know, and I redirect all the people to this bigger flat over here. Okay. The flat rent is one third of the rent that I actually pay for the retail store over there. So he has just taken the retail store just to tell people that, you know what, go and buy from there. Imagine this. And after doing all of that, he tells you to go and buy for, uh, after that, he also tells you to go and follow on Instagram. Okay. They give you a bag. Okay. They give you a bag and on the bag, okay? power look, follow us on Instagram at the power look. That's how much they are promoting. And I really appreciate them because of the hard work that they put because of the hard work that they put. I want to show you one more thing, guys. This is what a book my show visiting card looks like. Uh, if I can get it, uh, no. Okay, I'm not able to find it. I'll find it for you guys. So book my show during its early days. Okay, during its uh, early days, what book my show did is that they would give you a visiting card like this. Okay. And in each of their visiting card, they had vouchers, which you can tear off and you can actually redeem those vouchers. Okay. So they would have a coupon code and you can actually redeem those vouchers. The reason why they did that is because they wanted that every time I'm giving away my visiting card to someone. Okay. They should be able to give me business. Imagine that mindset and it's crazy, you know, it's absolutely crazy that they're thinking that way. And the CEO would also have that kind of card. The CEO would also have that kind of card. Can you imagine? And he would distribute it to people. And that's how you understand the seriousness of the business. All right. Are we all clear guys? Are we all clear guys? Yes. Can I have you? Yes. All right. Give me one second guys. Let me just have a sip of water. Okay, I can see some questions right now. What are hashtags and etc, etc, etc. Well, uh, this class is not about that. Okay, so what I would suggest you is that uh, I will share with you our previous class recordings, you can check them out. Okay. And the other thing is that you can enroll for our paid courses, uh, where we will give you all those downloads, right? Um, okay, let me get back to The screen share. Okay. So the argument and the right argument over here is, sir, that this is a fashion store. This is a furniture store. They can do all of that because they have so many, I mean, because they have products. Okay. But I don't have products. What can I do? Where's here's the answer for you guys. What to post on social media. And there are two categories. If you have a visually appealing product, okay. If you have a product which was visually appealing, check out your screen on the left side. If your product does, is not visually appealing, check out your screen on the right side. Okay. If you have a visually appealing product, for example, you are a cake shop. Okay. Invest in good photography and upload photos. Okay. Invest in good, good photography and upload photos. Go for videos as well. Do a lot of videos. Do stories. Do do Insta stories. Do Instagram IGTV. Do all of that kind of stuff as well. Okay. Uh, use as many hashtags as possible. Just go through Power Look and how they did things. Uh, upload stories with prizes. Sometimes do it without the prizes. Ask them people to DM and encourage DM. DM is direct message. Okay. DM is direct message. Encourage as much DM as you can. 
Now, second is if you or product is not visually appealing, someone who is into medical kit, you know, I make medical kit. What do I advertise? Or someone who has a car garage saying that, what do I advertise? Horn, you know, I don't know what to advertise. Okay. In that case, give insights. Okay. How many car owners over here? How many car owners over here? I'll give you a live example. How many of you all own cars? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now imagine this. Okay. That I am a mechanic. Okay. I own a car garage, uh, uh, and I'm a mechanic. Okay. And if I have to give you value, how, first of all, will you follow me on Instagram? You will not follow me on Instagram, but what if I can give you tips as to how to keep your car in the perfect condition? What if I give you tips? For example, what if I tell you that you should do this, this, this to ensure that, uh, you know, you do not have cockroaches or you do not have rats in your car. You know, what if I do that? I've got a question. What if I'm real estate, real estate can actually do both visually appealing photos as well as, uh, doing the other stuff. Now, what will, a uh, real estate put in photos, put a property photos. You know, put up property photos, whatever properties you have, put up the really good photos of that, put up videos of that. Okay. Second is what can, uh, what can you do to give insights, give your insights. For example, if you tell me that, uh, uh, I believe, uh, I think Anand Mahindra or someone said that the property prices or deeper part, I'm not sure. Someone said that the property prices will go down by 20%, you know? So you take up that topic and give an insight that if property prices are going uh, down by 20%, okay, what is your insight on that? You know, what do you feel? So for example, if I am planning to buy a flat for one crore rupees, now are they going to be available for 80 lakh? Then should I be buying that flat? You know, so it's like that. So give your insights over there. Okay. Do video interviews. Video interviews work phenomenally well. And when I say video interviews, you, you know, stop thinking that you have to invest a lot in equipment, nothing, just do an Instagram live and it will work. Okay. For example, uh, we did one real estate, uh, uh, we did one real estate uh, webinar, uh, with Kezad. Kezad is, uh, the brand officer at Rustam G. Okay. And he came for one hour session. Okay. And he gave superb insights about real estate, superb insights, like something that even I didn't knew. And the way he spoke, the motivation that he gave to real estate guys, okay, was amazing. How many of you, I see a lot of you guys from, uh, uh, from, uh, here who know Kazad and Kazad promoted us a lot, you know, see, so, uh, Nikhil, Lena, Amit, all of you guys are from Kazad sir, over here, right? So, so he gave a superb insight, you know, and people will find value when you're doing all of these things. It will not directly lead you to sales, but it, they will find value. Okay. For example, you're a fitness trainer. Okay. Think about if you're a fitness trainer, okay. And you put up things like, okay, there is a 21 day lockdown. Okay. If you do these things for 21 minutes every day for next 21 days, I promise you, you will lose 2.1 kgs. Example. Okay. Uh, so when you do all of those kind of things, people understand you, you know, and, uh, they will get an idea about it. So am I clear about this guys? All right. So collaborate with like-minded businesses. I will come to collaboration a bit later and occasionally post product photos. So sometimes if you, even if your products are boring, for example, uh, you are into medical equipments. Okay. But you might have some equipment, which are very, very innovative. You can go and put it up over there. Okay. You can go and put it up over there at times. Am I clear about it? All right. Let me move on. The second question is there are so many social media platforms. Which one should I use? Okay. Here's the answer. Depending upon your business, Okay. Use the social media, give importance to the platform, which is really, really important for you to give you an example. We are into a business of digital marketing training. We have different, different courses. We sell these courses. Okay. For us. Okay. We realize the most important platform is Instagram. 
so 70% of content okay is instagram friendly we will always make content which is instagram friendly the other 15% of my content is linkedin friendly and the other 555 is youtube facebook and twitter what does this mean every content that, that that i will create i will create in keeping in mind that i have to put it up on instagram okay baki jab main dalu ke nahi dalu instagram has to get me that engagement okay instagram has to get me that engagement and that's why it becomes really really important that you focus now the question is you don't know which platform is important for you figure that out it won't take too long for example if your crowd is really out there on facebook okay if your crowd is anyone who's above 45 they will be out there on facebook you know if your crowd is out there uh, if your crowd is really young as young as a, uh, a 20 25 year old they will be there on instagram so focus on those platforms okay there is no one in this world who is not there on both of these platforms there's everyone on these platforms okay now one more thing i have still not mentioned all the social media platforms tell me which social media platform have i not mentioned over here yes you are right i have not mentioned whatsapp the most important social media platforms um just uh, on on your whatsapp you have something known as status okay status is where you will put up your content and you will you know i never check my whatsapp status i never check it okay uh, i i never check others status you know but when i put it up people come to me right uh, and and they reply to me saying that hey i want to attend hey i want to know more about this so put it up on whatsapp as well second pinterest okay if your business can is something that can do well on in pinterest please put it up on pinterest as well third tiktok if you think you have to be present on tiktok please be present on tiktok as well and fourth is whatever you have created just put it up on google my business as well are we all clear about this guys perfect all right so uh i'm just going to take a moment over here to request you certain things one second and then we go into whatsapp marketing all right um so here's the thing guys i just give me one second and i will come back if you having a great session i have one small request for all of you guys is to just do one simple thing for all of us and what i teach is what i preach i'm going to ask all of you all to follow us across these things uh follow us on facebook follow us on uh, uh in sorry not facebook instagram okay uh do follow uh, networking now um uh, it's very very important uh, they have been uh they have been always uh, uh, great supporters uh, for us uh, so please follow all of us uh, i've just sent you the link uh, so i'm just going to put the link again if you all did not see it for the first time is the link clickable because i am not seeing clickable link all right oh it's not clickable i don't know what the problem is uh, please uh, just just uh, search and you should be able to get us okay let me see why it's not clickable give me a minute is it clickable now or still i don't know why it's not clickable never works that way all right no problem uh, i will also put it up on our um, on our insta on the whatsapp uh, 
but uh, all else you can just search we are called notstrom academy and you can also search us on you can also search us on instagram that way and do follow networking now uh, thank you so much all right um, moving on My name is Neil Dodia. For those asking, you can search me as Neil Dodia on Instagram. Can you please arrange a webinar related to generating backlinks? Ah, uh, we'll try that. Can't promise you. We'll try that. Yeah, on Instagram, it's not. Storm Academy. All right, perfect, guys. Let's uh, let's continue with our session. Just one thing that I want to tell you guys as well. All right, so one request guys, how about this? If you're enjoying the session, if you're genuinely enjoying a session, take a photo of this and put it up on your stories tagging us. Uh, we want maximum people to attend this. Trust me, it takes a lot of time, a lot of efforts to create a session like this. It genuinely does take a lot of time, a lot of efforts to do something like this. To give you an example, uh, we have a paid version of Zoom. We pay thousands of rupees just to buy this to make something like this possible. Um, so why don't you just take a screenshot of this, invite your friends, just tag us. Whoever is asking, you have the WhatsApp message, send them the invite uh, so that they can join us tomorrow. And do it only if you think there's value in it. If you don't think it's value, don't do it. It's totally fine. We, we understand that. There's no forcing. Uh, whatever it is, it's up. it's up to you. Can we devote a session for Instagram? We actually done it earlier, you know, so. So, uh, yeah, one request. So what I'm asking you to do is take up your phone, take a photo of this and put it up on your Instagram tag us. We are at the rate North Storm Academy. All right. So I'm going to give you two minutes to do that and then we'll move on. All right, thank you so much, guys. Let's move on with the session. Okay, WhatsApp marketing. Uh, again, I, I can't uh, tell you how important it is uh, to be active on WhatsApp. Uh, I mean, I, if I, I have this app called Screen Time I spend minimum of four hours just on WhatsApp every day. And that sucks in terms of, you know, it's bad for my eyes. What am I doing? My mom keeps yelling at me, but it's, it's the thing that generates me business. You know, it really generates me business. Um, I have to give you an example of what happened today. How did I miss that? Okay. So on Instagram, uh, uh, one lady, uh, she, she DM'd me. Okay. She DM'd me and she said that, Hey Neil, uh, there is a 16, my, my daughter is 16 year old and, uh, she wants to, uh, you think this, uh, this particular course that you're doing today, the free one will be beneficial for her. And I replied to her that, you know, because she's 16 year old, she does not have the pressure of sales. She's currently not into business. I would not suggest her this course, you know? Uh, but I told her that, Hey, you know what? We have a paid course. Uh, why don't you uh, check out that course? And she said, okay, you send me the details. So I sent her the details. Okay. 
and then she replied me saying that what does this course have and etc 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 and i replied to her saying that uh, can i give you a number uh, can i can i get your number so that i can call you up and she gave me a number i called her up i told her that you know it's a i mean this is what the course has it's absolutely good your daughter will uh, or basically i answered her all the questions within one hour she paid the money and she enrolled for the paid course from the free course i converted someone for a paid course just because of instagram so if you are not serious about it right now after giving you so many examples i don't know what will make you serious about this all right okay the right way of whatsapp marketing let me quickly tell you of first of all of what not to do on whatsapp please don't do this on whatsapp okay never send messages to your number it will get suspended if you do not have that person's number and if that person has not authorized you to send a number a message do not send them a message now there's a difference between what i'm saying okay and there's a difference when there is a interest which is shown for example a lot of you filled up a form okay so what happened is you came to know about this workshop you filled up the form you after filling up the form you were asked to join the whatsapp group okay but a lot of you did not join the whatsapp group you did not join the whatsapp group because for xyz reasons which is fine but then from someone from my team actually send you the invite link or then or they forcibly added you on the whatsapp group but that is not spam why is it not spam because you showed an intent to join the whatsapp group and why did i make you join the whatsapp group because we also emailed you the zoom link okay but a lot of you must have not received it because it must have gone on spam or it must have gone in the promotion and that's why you did not receive it and because you did not receive it you were not able to attend it and that's why we added you on the whatsapp group so but the other one is randomly someone sends me a message i don't know that person no number nothing uh, you buy a 4 crore rupee flat are what from where you where did this message come from don't do that your number is going to get suspended a lot of you would not know this but government of india only allows you eight sim cards per aadhar number so if you have more than eight, you cannot have more than eight sim cards so if your number gets blocked you'll buy another one then another one then another one aat ke baad nahi milne wala okay so if you are 40 year old you're going to live for another 40 years you'll have only eight sim cards on your aadhar number so better not use them for spam stuff okay third is avoid multiple whatsapp messages have a concise message you know people have this habit of writing five things that you have to write okay write it in one message don't write it in five messages have a concise message okay this is something which is very diff- difficult to get habituated but it's very very important that you put a concise message if you see our message today where we explained to you how to join the workshop there had five pointers in it but we mentioned you all of those five pointers in one message we could have sent you five messages but that's spamming you know you don't do that so that's exactly what i mean to say over here and second is if your business has to do a lot of whatsapping have a whatsapp for business account now uh, what is a whatsapp for business account it a whatsapp for business account has this really cool feature which is greeting message so whenever someone will text you automatic message will go to them okay for example uh, a lot of a lot of people texted me something on our whatsapp number on our whatsapp for business number and auto message went to them which says that this is how uh, this is the course and how you can attend and how you can register yourself you know because that's exactly what i want to say now what is a greeting message and how do you activate it is uh, very very simple there is this app called whatsapp for business okay install that app okay and you can also convert your personal number into whatsapp for business number okay now when you install that app you automatically sign up for whatsapp for business account it's absolutely free of cost okay from there there is something known as it go to your settings and there is something known as greeting message that basically means if someone is texting you something okay an auto message will go to them saying that hey uh, you know uh, if you're looking for this if you're looking for that now let's say how will you use something like that okay for now i'm going to take up um, for now i'm going to take up two three examples all right let's take example number 1 if you're a dietitian 
okay if you are a dietitian how will you use whatsapp for business account you use whatsapp for business account in a way where someone is texting you reply to them saying that hi um currently uh, sorry if you looking for appointments please call on this number if you are looking uh, for a profile click here to see a profile and that profile can be a website and also here are some great dietitian tips given by the, uh, the world famous dietitian nisha xyz example all right uh and you give a youtube link over there so while someone is sending you message okay you are replying them instantly so while someone is texting you at 4 am also you are replying to them okay but remember you will not send the message first let the message come and then you will reply to them I, am i clear about this guys others yes yes we are supposed to end the session by 8:30 running out of time hence why all right perfect perfect thank you guys all right so with this quick reply you can make your whatsapp work 24/7 so while i am having this live session with you guys if someone texted me on my whatsapp for business number my my personal number is different and my whatsapp for business number is different uh our auto reply will go to them which will say hey you know what if you're looking for digital marketing courses here are the courses that we have if you're looking to offer a website this is our website whatever that message i want to have you know i will have it over there for example let's assume that you are a real estate guy okay you give a link okay which will be of uh, various properties that you have not necessary that that link has to be always your website you can give it a facebook page link also saying that oh if you're looking for 2 bhk in in bandra click here create the album on facebook okay and give that album link so that okay they click over here they directly go to bandra if you're looking for andheri click here click there andheri aa jayega just use just use be smart and use things in the right manner and you should be able to do it so four things that you have to remember share whatsapp link for easy and fast communication what is a whatsapp link you uh, how many of you all are aware that you can create something known as whatsapp link okay huh. a lot of you all are not okay let me quickly show you what the whatsapp link looks like let me try to fetch your video give me one second guys i hopefully i should have this handy with me give me one minute okay can you see my phone guys right now are you able to see my phone guys everyone i know not very clear but all right so this is from this is my whatsapp for business okay i know it's not very clear let me just try and dim the brightness then you might be able to see it yeah all right perfect this seems good now what i'm doing over here is if i want to activate my whatsapp uh I, if i want the link okay so i go to settings and after going to settings i go to business settings and i go to short link okay and this is where i copy the link so again settings whatsapp for business settings short link and then i copy this link okay and i share it with you all okay now this link you can write anywhere uh you can put this link anywhere you can put it on your facebook post you can put it anywhere you want when someone will click on this link automatically whatsapp will open on their phone okay uh automatically whatsapp will open on their phone and there is a pre text message that will go okay it is same for ios it is same for uh it is same for ios and same for the other one also i i'm sorry guys i won't be able to show you more of this because we are really running out of time i did not expect this session to go on for so long and i have more stuff to cover are you enjoying guys are you guys enjoying if yes say a yes to me please All right, perfect, perfect, perfect.
let me just get back to business let me just share that slide with you again All right, so this is where the WhatsApp is. This is where the WhatsApp is. All right, cool. Uh, let me move on. And the third very, very important point is collaboration. Okay, a uh, very, very, very important part is collaboration. I have spoken about it a lot of time. Um, and that is because two is more than one. I'll give you an example of what I'm trying to say is last week we did Instagram live with these two uh, female over here. One is Ishna Batra and second is Ishika Bhaktani. They both have approximately 40 to 50,000 followers on Instagram. The reason why we did Instagram is because right now everyone's there free available online and hence we did all of these Instagram sessions so that people can see them, uh, they can understand from it, they can attend it. So they, they both are, I mean, Isha Batrani is, Isha Batra is known for, I mean, she's a mother and she's monetizing her, her Instagram. So she's a mom influencer. Whereas Ishika, uh, she owns a business which is into events. So we did an Instagram live over there. But what happened is her audience came to know about Nostrum Academy and Nostrum Academy's audience, like you all today, came to know about them, you know. So that way we are reaching out to more and more people because of the content that, because of the collaboration, you know. So uh, you, you understood what I'm trying to say? All right, um, cross promotion, exactly that's the right term, cross promotion. So we are promoting each and uh, both, I mean, each of us by just doing something like this. And this is the right time to do all of that stuff because right now people are free, they are able to see your content. You know, when, when one and a half month back, I sorry, one month back when the lockdown was coming in, we were really worried yeah, that, you know, what, what will we do? We are a startup, we are a business and you know, things like this are happening. And today we are able to generate thousands of people who are coming for a free courses, then they go for our paid courses. And that's exactly how it works. Now, the most important part that I want to explain you guys is give value formula. Okay, give value formula. And this system always, always works. What is give value and how can you give value? Okay, uh, there are four ways of giving value, content, events, samplings, and influencers. Let me explain you what all of the four means. What is content? Okay, so content is when, uh, for example, uh, when you're creating content, okay, you are going to give value. I give you an example of, you know, if I would have been a nutritionist, I would, I would make Instagram videos, which will tell you in, in 24, 21 days, work out for 21 minutes and you'll be able to shed 2.1 kgs. Example. Okay. That is called content. So you are giving content, which is giving value. What am I doing right now? I am giving value to you guys. Okay. Second is events. Either you host events, which is a difficult part, or you try to be part of events. Okay. Whatever events are happening and events does not mean physical events. It can be in a small Instagram live also be a part of it so that more and more people know about it in that event, give value. If you're not going to give value now, people will go away as simple as that. All right. So you give value. Third is samplings. Nothing works better than samplings. Now what is samplings? Okay. For example, uh, yesterday or uh, two, three days back, I was speaking to uh, Sandeep, if I'm not wrong. Uh, Sandeep, are you attending today's workshop? If you are, just say yes. So Sandeep owns, uh, Aditya has written why is content not in caps? That's purely a mistake, Aditya. Uh, Sandeep has, uh, Sandeep has written, uh, Sandeep has a store which is into interiors and he is there 
uh, he also converts uh, you know throw away things for example uh, glasses pieces of glasses which you'll throw away he takes all of that and he makes it into a really cool interior you know uh, it can be anything it can be a frame he makes it something out of it okay and when he's doing all of that uh, i said that why don't you give away free samplings now whom to give away these free samplings give away these free samplings to people who can use it uh, people who can talk about it for example just to give you an example okay i just gave you an example of ishna batra who has 40000 followers on instagram okay let's assume that i i am something i i am i am into day care products or baby care products okay i can give it to ishna as a sampling and hope that she will speak about it okay and why just ishna you can talk to anyone you know for example you are into eco friendly products okay if you make uh, seed papers you know what are seed papers right you it's a paper which you put it in the sand or mud or whatever not sand sorry in the soil and the plants will grow okay give it to dia mirza she may speak about it on instagram okay figure out the address it's all possible don't don't think that it's not possible it's all possible just you have to work your things out way yeah. you have to work your way around and the fourth part is influencers influencers is uh just similar to samplings is how you reach out to these influencers and hope that they speak about your brand am i clear about these four things so you if you give value people will listen to you for example you are listening to me since last one and a half year sorry one and a half hour because i am giving value to you guys am i clear about it as guys perfect all right this brings me to the end of the session but don't go just 